Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. It's always exciting when we have a new watch from Sin Bono because they make some really great smartwatches. This one comes packed in a black box with a black sleeve with a tricky way to open it. There it is. You got to pull on a flap and they reveal the newest. It's a Sin Bono watch, the Max 3. Now, the Max 3 is an interesting one, and it comes with two different bands in the box. You can get it from the official Sin Bono store out of AliExpress in a range of about $45 to $60, depending on the combination of band and body that you pick. Check the show notes. We'll see if we've got some uh, special coupon links for you as well. You've got a 1.3-inch uh, smartwatch with two really nice features, Bluetooth calling and onboard music player. It means you'll be able to tether this watch to your TWS earbuds and, without taking your phone along with you, play music. Or with taking your phone along with you, you can sync it up with uh, Bluetooth and use it for calling and answering from your watch any calls that come to your phone. Make sense? Okay. So you got this little bit of memory in here to put maybe a couple of albums worth of songs um, on your watch. And of course, you can uh, reject or accept or mute uh, incoming calls. You have a record of your uh, calls that have come in. And of course, all your contacts can be in there as well. You've got a variety of different dials you can put in it. Exercise, heart rate, blood pressure, you know, the main things. Ten different sport modes on there. You got sleep detection. You've got a menstrual cycle if you tie in with the app and designate yourself as female and put the appropriate data in there. Incoming call SMS push, the notifications coming to it. Um, you got alarm clocks. You can shake it to take a picture, flip your wrist, so forth. The basic stuff that we've seen on all these different stop, uh, smartwatches with the big addition that it is a Bluetooth calling capable and an onboard music player watch. Let's take a look at it. This is the version that has the really nice metal band as well as a separate band. Now it ships with the metal band installed and it looks like this, all covered and protected. Really nice, beefy one. You've got a cover on here. Make sure you fully charge before using it. We'll do that. And sometimes you have covers on the back. Well, We'll have to look at that when we get into it. I don't see anything right there. Really nice, solid metal build. It's a very sturdy watch with the metal band that matches it. It's great. You've got some writing on the uh, on the bezel here. Two buttons. Microphone, it looks like. And I'm sure integrated speaker in here. Take this out. Reveals the sporty bands. Ooh, no. The dressy bands. Look at this. These are the combo leather with rubber on the bottom, so you can wear it and sweat on it, but it's not going to affect the rubbery look on it. Quick disconnect, easy to put on. Just pop this uh, set off and you can put it on there. Inside here, we should have the charging uh, cable. Let's pull it out. Yeah. And it is your typical four pin magnetic connector. Let's see if I get it right. 50 50 chance. Oh, <laughs> I would not bet on me in Vegas, I tell you. Okay, there we go. Now, this is a heavy watch, so I'm going to hold on to it. It just about, well, just about holds it up. With the metal band, it's a little tough. But it is a good solid connection, so you should be okay. Just make sure you put it in the right way and connect to the pins. In here, we got a Chinese manual and an English manual right here. Bracelet user manual. Notice that the uh, H-band is the tethering app for this one, and that's a really good... Uh, App. We do a lot of reviews on that, so we won't go into detail here, uh, but I will have links to other videos where if you want to go deeper into the app and what it can do, you can do that. We are paging through here two at a time, so you can freeze frame it on YouTube and read it if you need to. A lot of folks lose their apps uh, or their, their manuals sometimes or don't even... Uh, bother to review them so we just out of a courtesy give you a chance right at the beginning of our unboxing videos to have a copy 
of the manual. Uh, they're not PDF'd on the web generally, not, uh, not these smaller common watches, and that's all in Chinese. So we uh, will get this all cleaned up, charged up, and uh, check it out for you. Here you go, I switched it to the leather rubber bands and firing it up after we've got it fully charged. And it's been synchronized to the app and it's been set up tethered to the watch uh, or to the phone. It's pretty much good to go. So what have I found so far? It's got a nice loud speaker, really good one. It's a basic watch. It's got a few watch faces. You can customize one and you can add one from the app. When you swipe down, you get all these goodies. This is kind of fun. When you tap that, it broadcasts on the network and that's how you'll know to pair with it. So it's not always on putting out its signal. It's only when it's attempting to pair and it just now successfully paired to the phone, which is sitting right over here. You've also got, of course, uh, your find your phone, which will cause it to vibrate, but I have it in silent over there. I always do that in case a call comes in while I'm reviewing. Alarms you can set. There's a do not disturb, and it'll stop it from vibrating, and your basic overall information on the watches right here. In addition to that, you've got whether you're paired, your battery level, and things like that down, down on that end. As you go around, you've got step count for the day, calories burned, distance traveled, last night's sleep time. You've got heart rate continuous. You see the chart throughout the day happening right there. And you just leave it on this screen, and in a moment or two, it should give us our current heart rate. Your high, your low, and the last will be recorded down here after I've done a count an actual reading. Uh, these are the ones that are taken incrementally on their own, if you have it set up for that. Blood pressure, no data on it yet. Going to press the button and that'll uh, start the measurement. It should be using the green diodes down below. This one does not do blood oxygen or have the red diodes in it. It's a basic watch, but it is a very attractive one with a nice metal body. Now, I need to stay still for this. It does give you a count uh, percentage completed, which is helpful because a lot of times you go, come on already, when's it going to be over? And you just don't know. Well, here we know, so I know how much to talk, right? There we go. 122 over 81. Okay. Now, from the app, you can put in a personal number, like 190 over uh, 100 or something, whatever your, your normal cuff reading is, and it will give you more of a calibrated reading related to your personal data, which is a good thing. Come this way, and you get those three screens again, four screens, and then back to the watch faces going up. You get this music player. Now, it's loading one song that they put in here which isn't even a song but it's a great way for me to demo uh, how it sounds now i'm going to bring it all the way up full volume and check it out there you go it sounds pretty good. The bass, I don't know, it doesn't seem to start at a low bass note, so it probably doesn't have strong bass, but it definitely has a, a full range of audio. And you can come down here, you can play it through the watch, you can set up to play through the phone or through earphones, which is really sweet. So this is where you could pair your TWS headset and switch right over to it from the watch. 128 megabytes of storage that's roughly two albums worth it's not a huge amount but it's enough if you change your music frequently that you can have some variety and that's all you get on this level is that one as far as the buttons go the top one is basically your power on and off and a back button but your bottom button takes you into your app drawer and this is where your sports sections are there's no GPS in the watch, but you can do all these different activities if you want to. You just simply initiate it, and you're going to get your heart rate and your time and your calories burned and the daytime time as well. You can play music along with it. Well, that's interesting. Okay. And, of course, you can stop it over here. We want to end the exercise, so we'll go out of there. Too short for data. 
um, and that's it. So if I press again, I'm back to sport. Here's your step count, sleep time, heart rate, and blood pressure. Those are all the screens we already saw. Here's where you can uh, initiate a phone call with a dial pad, and it's really good. It's a nice loud uh, speaker on this one, so it works really well. You've got your contacts and call logs there. And, of course, notifications that you set up pushed from um, your phone to the watch. If you have any, you can read them there. Alarm clock and a stopwatch, countdown timer. There's the music player again. Find your phone. There's the female activity. So it's not one of the cards, but it is available on here if you set it all up. Uh, this is remote photography and overall settings for your brightness. Check it out. I'm at lowest level one. This puppy can go way up there, super bright, really nice. You've got an auto lock capability uh, for, I guess, uh, locking the watch after a certain amount of time that you set, 10 seconds. These are the switches for your heart rate, um, blood pressure monitoring, and so forth. Nice to have the switches right on the watch. There's the app download, the QR code. Now it's almost too bright washed out that you would use to download the H-Band app or just click in the link in the show notes. There you set your dials and so forth. Uh, and of course, you can clear all the data out of the watch as well. In terms of watch faces, tap and hold for a long time. You've got that first one. You got a bright one if you want like the flashlight appearance at night. Um, beyond that, you've got this colorful digital analog face. You've got one custom face that they give you already pre-filled out with uh, an image and, of course, your digital time and whatnot. And then you can download one from the watch store. And I've got this one in here for last night because I didn't want it bright if it lit up during the night. Let's take a quick look at those on the app. I told you we've already reviewed H-Band, so we're not going to go into detail. Just a reminder, you can press here. You can take a live heart rate reading if you want to or live blood pressure reading here. Some devices have a lot of other stuff. There's sleep information if we had uh, had slept with it. There's your continuous heart rate and blood pressure. This does not do, but the app will report blood oxygen, heart rate variability, ECG, those kind of things. Female cycle information is available if you set that up in the app with the band, but it doesn't report it on the band per se. So you've got those things. But what I want to take you to is uh, the band itself, which is right here. Go into the band. All right, more and settings. There we go. And these are all, of course, the things that you can set here. And we go down here to dial settings, and I can show you more faces just so you get an idea of which ones you could install. So you have some colorful digital kind. You have some analog ones. I'm pretty sure these are ones we've seen already, but um, there may be some different ones that are watch-specific. And that's the one I was using. Here's a nice colorful butterfly one. And a few more faces. Then you get into digital with a lot more information. This is a new one that's showing up on a lot of the Android watches, I believe. So they've added it to this one. And uh, yeah, it's as simple as just tapping it, he says. And it should download it from the server. And then you set it as a watch face. It gives you a countdown of one minute. So if it doesn't do it in a minute, it times out. But it really doesn't take that long because it's a good, strong Bluetooth connection happening here. So we'll give it uh, another 10 seconds or so, and we should be switching over to that colorful watch. And there you are. Yeah. So this is it. It's the Sinbono Max 3. Um, you saw the metal band earlier before I pulled it all apart. Uh, that one didn't quite fit me. I'd have to change the links and everything, so I just swapped it out for this one. But they both come with the watch. If you buy it in that configuration, when you look at the AliExpress uh, Sinbono official store, you'll see all these down here at the bottom. And these are the metal ones that are coming with a different kind of a band. And you'll, you'll see all of that stuff when you look at it. And the price range is around. 
around here. And check uh, the show notes. If I've got an extra coupon on here for you, I'll have that. Otherwise, usually there's a coupon or two that are right associated with the link uh, when you get there. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks, Sinbono. You guys are making great quality watches. we got a couple of more coming in a little while from them that they're just now producing. Uh, this one is the Max 3. We've also reviewed other Max watches from Sinbono. So take a look at those if this one interests you as well. And we'll see you again soon, gang. Thanks for watching. <music>